Adopting a carnivore diet can be quite tricky for some people, certainly as it pertains to staying on track long enough to see the results that that person's hoping for, or just to push past that adaptation phase where they're adjusting and they're still getting intense cravings. No, stop. Don't, don't do it. Don't. Oh. Maybe you're just tempted because you're going out with your friends. There's a celebration over the weekend and there's these foods and different smells. And it's like, oh, man, you know, it, that's really difficult to resist. I mean, I did struggle with carb cravings. I was certainly addicted to sugar, whether it came from cereal or bread. I loved pasta, craved a dessert at the end of my meal. Does anyone want dessert? I'll have a supply. I think there's a lot of learned behavior going on. There's a lot of just habits that are very deep. I actually had these weird sensations where I would get smells and it was like deja vu. And it, it was almost like the food was in my mouth. I could almost taste it. And then all of a sudden you just crave that particular thing. You know, for me, it was like pastries and licorice, sweet coffees, like the cold coffees, cinnamon, just a craving for a taste or flavor that's now not in your diet. And I think that's absolutely normal. Here's how I dealt with that. Um, and maybe, and I'm hoping that this can potentially help other people stay on track. For me, it was just about mindset. Most of us are doing this, obviously, for health, right? But many of us are doing this because we're actually already in a situation where we're in danger with our health or we're, we're fed up. I think it's important to realize that the foods that you loved so much didn't love you. <laughs> oh, no. Mother pus bucket. They are responsible for all your misery and your ailments, inflammation and the medications I'm taking. They are the reason why you are here at the crossroads. You need to continue to say no. Humans need sacrifice in their life. I think you're rewarded greatly for it. I think it's because we make some very unique mistakes as humans. Not intentionally, right? I mean, I thought I was consuming nothing but foods. Uh, uh, uh. If you think about the definition of food, you know, to me, human compatible substrate that's going to offer you complete nourishment and doesn't contribute towards inflammation on your cells and your organs, your tissues. That's food. Plants don't meet that criteria because all plants cause inflammation with the sugar, with the fiber, the anti-nutrients. Certain people are very sensitive to different metabolites, lectins, oxalate, polyunsaturated fats, even for some people. Some people are very sensitive. So these don't qualify as food, right? So you think, OK, my food is my meat and my eggs and the fat, the butter, the salt, drink water. But you're going to be tested along the way. It's not going to be easy. You're not going to just switch diets, feel optimal right off the bat. And, you know, it's a breeze and get nothing but miraculous results. For some people, they have to really see this out for a long time. Could be three months, could be six months. Six months later. For some people, certain problems continue to improve, but require maybe two years before they're at 90%. My advice would be to change the way you look at the food. So stay strong, stay on the path, look towards your goals, look towards the picture of health that you hope to find in yourself and in your life. So the second tip is similar in that it is somewhat how you look at it and the, and the mindset. But the people that are making these foods are evil, right? They're like they, they produce these foods. And if I eat, if I cave in, and I give in, I'm entertaining those evil people. You know, they've screwed me once. I'm not going to allow you to, to do that to me again. You know, if I'm going to if I'm going to end up in a bad situation, that's that's going to be on me. If you're lucky, you might just enjoy a few minutes before you feel regret. I immediately regret this decision before you feel something wrong in your digestive tract some kind of inflammation or a reaction the next day you know it's not worth it so i think that we need to look at it like realistically the people that make this available to the public in the stores and how that affects humans and health and our children their, their mouths their teeth their eyes their bodies their development there's no way i'm going to entertain these people that like poisoning society on a birthday for me i just don't understand this whole birthday cake thing I don't get it. There's so much garbage gone into that. The flour, the sugar, the colors, the flavors, even the fruits. Now, Milton, don't be greedy. Make sure everyone gets a piece. There's no way. First of all, I'm worth more than that. If I slip up, I have myself to blame. I'm going to feel inflamed. I'm going to wake up and regret and berate myself. And rightfully too, right? You idiot. Why did you do that? Do you realize what you've done? Certainly when you look at my baseline that was just misery and desperation, me beating myself up, both physically and mentally, quite literally. I don't want to have to punish myself, even with my thoughts. Know your worth. You've already taken a leap of faith. You, you, you were smart to do that. Stay smart. Stay strong. You're going to have some times where it's tricky. 